Gotta love that intro. Alright, now let's get on to the video. Biggest fails in paintball. These are mostly uh, by companies, companies' mistakes. You know, I'm wearing my lucky paintball hat. I wear this hat every time I go paintballing. Uh, yes. Nice hat. It's not nice. Good fit. But, uh, let's start with the most recent of fails. And go back to the first of fails. Start off with the most recent fail, the die dam. Or the die assault matrix. A lot of you guys are going to be saying, oh, it's a great gun. Why, why, why is it a fail? Now, I agree that it is a great gun, but that's not going to make any money on it. No one is going to spend over $1,000 on a woods ball gun. It's just fact. Everyone who plays woods, ball gun, plays woods ball has a gun under $300. I can guarantee it. People who selectively play woods ball either have a gun that's under $500. Not $300. Under $500. And just what you're getting for the $1,000, isn't that worth it? I mean, you could get a GOG G1 with black hardboard and do the same things you can with that air. Oh, well, you can shoot first strike. Well, first strike is a, one of my other fails. I'll get into that in a second. But first strike doesn't make a gun any better. You have to spend like $50 for paint for like 10 But I'll get into that. I'll get more into that later. But... It's, they try to make a mag fed system that's just actually, it's an okay mag fed system, but it's just not worth a thousand dollars. It's really just selling it for the name, and I don't think anyone's going to buy it. That's why I put it as fail. Next up, first strike rounds. Now, first strike rounds are a fail, not really because they don't work well, they work pretty good, but they're just so expensive that they're not a replacement for paintballs. When first strike rounds first came out, they're like, oh, this is going to replace paintballs. Paintballs are just gone. We're all going to be using first strike rounds. Until you realize, that's $10 for eight. Okay. I go to Dick's Sporting Goods right now and get 500 crappy paintballs for 10 bucks. You either have eight pretty good paintballs, or you have 500 paintballs that'll work just fine. Uh... So the uses for first strike are useless, especially if you use like a flatline barrel. Because the flatline barrel gives you 100 feet extra range, and so does the uh, first strike rounds. So uh, it's really, really, it was, it's really stupid, and I don't think it's going to catch on very much. Uh, and some fields don't even allow first strike rounds because, you know, you can't bring your outside paint. You're going to have to go to a field that lets you bring outside paint. So that automatically, like... Shuts down to like a few fields. Um, next one. Every spider gun ever made. Why? Proprietary parts. And a lot of you people are saying, well, what about Tidman? They use proprietary parts on all their, most of their guns because you know they got the Tidman 98 bolt and the 98 barrels. Well, Tidman, they're. Their proprietary parts are mainly barrels. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, problem, like, if Spider's guns were good and they had proprietary parts, I wouldn't care. I, I honestly wouldn't. Um, but since their guns suck, and so you want to, and you need to upgrade it because it sucks, and you're just spending more money with these people who sell you a crappy gun and just trying to get your money. Which, I just find Spider to be a huge fail. And what Kingman should do right as soon as possible is get rid of the Spider line and just go with Kingman based markers. Just give it a new name, just call it Kingman. Do what God did. And just get rid of the Smart Parts name, call it God, and just take the old designs that worked great and make them better. So, just Spider. If you were smart, you would do that. But, just become Kingman. It's because Spider is only a line of guns, and a real company is called King. So if you just decide to call yourself Kingman and not like, not be related to the Spider line at all, just get rid of all that and stop making them. Um, some with smart parts, 
when I make PSP ramp, this makes me so angry. Not PSP ramp, ramp in general. This makes me so angry. Now with ramp, you can literally just use one finger and shoot people at 15 BPS. Where's the fun in that? I mean, what you guys should be doing is playing mechanic, semi-auto, mechanical, or pump. I recommend mechanical for speedball. I mean, if everyone should just start playing mechanical or pump, and just not playing electro. Electro, in my mind, is like killing the sport. Electro is not even as fun as playing pump or mechanical. So sure, you can just get your two dog on, just 50 balls a second, or you can play a pump. You gotta maneuver. You gotta use tactics instead of instead of PSP ramp electros where you can just do it with your toe and just shoot 500 balls a second from the back of the map. It's just ridiculous. Um, which is I, re I I recommend going mechanical or pump. I run a mechanical X7 Fino. I have much more funner now than I did when I had an Electro. I'm just telling you that right now. I even use my Fino for speedball. So much funner than using an Empire Axe or an Invert Mini. And Pump is just the most adrenaline you could possibly have in a paintball game. Do you, if you want adrenaline, play Pump. It is some of the funnest things. One of the funnest things you do, and your wallet won't slit your throat as you sleep, because you're not spending two thousand dollars on paint, especially if you can only buy field paint, which is eighty dollars for two thousand, which is ridiculous. So, yeah, those were my main fails. There's probably more fails. Uh, if I think of any more fails, I'll probably make a part two. But uh, one, one more thing. Uh, I'm going to recommend a channel to you. Uh, this guy makes great videos. This is for the gamers or anyone who just really likes really cool videos or is like a fan of action movies and stuff. He makes these sick Call of Duty Black Ops sniping montages and they're really cool. It's really cool. He's a good friend of mine. Check it out his channel. We'll link in the description below for his channel. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Just like, subscribe, favorite, favorite, favorite. And uh, tell your friends, comment below. Tell your friends, comment, you know. Alright, alright, see you guys later.